I guess it beats sitting behind a desk. Well, good uh, morning, everybody. This is Cruise Man coming to you today from Sweetwater, Texas. On my way back to Dallas, Fort Worth from my ride to Midland. I was out here visiting my brother, or out to Midland visiting my brother. And I just stopped for gas in Sweetwater. It's about 115, 120 miles from Midland. I usually stop every uh, 120, 150 miles, something like that, just to stretch my legs, get gas, have a drink of water. Some of you may have seen my moto vlog. Hang on, let me get on the highway here. I don't want to get myself killed. Some of you may have seen my motor vlog uh, on my ride out to West Texas, uh, to Midland, and it was a miserable ride because uh, after I got past Abilene, it was pretty much uh, sandstorm, dust storm. I was bucking about a 35 mile an hour wind. And in fact, my gas mileage suffered uh, tremendously. I only uh, averaged about 39 miles per gallon for the entire trip and I my last leg of the trip I only had about 38.6 miles per gallon so that's about as bad as I've ever had on this bike now on this very first leg coming from Midland to Sweetwater I had about 43 miles per gallon so it's uh, improving. I do have a little bit of wind, uh, a little bit of a crosswind today coming out of the south. That's typical for West Texas. Uh, it's not bad though, maybe 10, 15 miles an hour. It's really nothing significant. Uh, the, as the morning goes on, as it gets later and the temperatures start to go up, usually that wind will increase. Uh, so that's why I like to leave early in the morning. Uh, as early as I can. I left about 6.45 this morning. It's 8.45 now. And it's about 80 degrees right now. And clear skies. Fortunately, no more dust storms. It's a pretty nice day, actually. It's a Sunday, so there's very little traffic, which is much nicer. I had a lot of traffic uh, getting out of Dallas last Tuesday I was really shocked I left at 5 30 in the morning I was surprised how much traffic there was it's like everything's back to normal as far as traffic but today it's very light I see a little traffic but nothing nothing uh, unusual it's really pretty nice this is not uh, an exciting ride it's not a scenic ride it's a uh, interstate all the way back to Dallas Fort Worth but when the weather's nice like it is today with very little wind and very little traffic there's no better place to be than on your bike on a ride I got my Sirius XM got my tunes going playing my classic rock and just enjoying being outside, being on the highway. Yeah, I'd much rather be in uh, Tennessee with some beautiful trees and mountains. But, uh, you know, being on a slab in Texas, with decent weather, I'll take it. I guess it beats sitting behind a desk. My next stop will be in Eastland, Texas. This trip has given me a chance to do a really fair comparison of my Garmin 595 LM to this Garmin XT. Um, and I'm telling you, the more I use this thing, the more I love it. 
It's just got some very, very cool features. I love the interface. I love the bright screen because I have ridden this exact same route several times using the 595LM, so I have a chance to really do an accurate comparison on the similar route. And I really think this is an upgrade. I really like this uh, XT. It's performing very well. I also, um, going into that heavy wind the other day, I really appreciated this big, nice F4 Customs windshield. It really performs well. And when I got to my brother's house, this bike was completely covered in dust. I can't tell you how filthy this bike was going through that sandstorm, dust storm. It was really bad. Now, I've, I've been through worse sandstorms growing up in West Texas as a kid. We used to have them all the time. We used to have a half an inch of sand on our window sills after the sandstorms. And we've been in sandstorms in a car that's so bad you had to pull over, you couldn't see anything in front of you. Just incredible. But this is the worst, uh, last Tuesday is the worst one I've been in in many, many years. So I'm glad that's over. I was able to uh, do a little minor cleanup on the bike. Uh, my brother gave me a pistol grip sprayer with some clean water in it. And I was able to get most of the dust off the dash. You have to be very careful when you clean this uh, this lens on the uh, gauge lens, this clear cover, because it scratches very, very easily. It's a very soft plastic. So I'm going to actually do a video. I think I may have done one a year or so ago. But I'm going to do another video on how I clean this and keep it from... Uh, getting those little scratches. Now the F4 Customs windshield is another story. Even though I'm still very careful with it when I clean it, it has a very strong tough coating on it uh, to prevent scratches and uh, it, it, it's bulletproof. It's, it, it's whatever they do to coat, it's a proprietary coating that they use on these uh, windshields and it really does an incredible job. I wish Honda could do that with these uh, lens covers. Also, the uh, center console, where you see this black, gloss black plastic, that also will scratch very, very easily. So I take the same kind of care with it that I do with that lens cover. So I've got about another 250 miles to go to get home. And I want to know, Father's Day is coming up next weekend. We're going to wish all our fathers a happy Father's Day. I'm sure we'll have another video out before Father's Day. But I wanted to let you know we are doing a Father's Day special on our maintenance videos. So just go to my website and check that out. I'm not going to talk about it here. But I want to know if any of you have a ride planned for Father's Day. Are you going to get out on your bike and go for a ride? And if you are, uh, put it in the comments down below. I'd like to know where you're planning to go and what bike you're planning to ride. In my video on how I packed up this uh, bike before my trip, I mentioned that I uh, keep an ice chest in the trunk, uh, and it's just one of these little collapsible ice chests, and I keep a, usually just keep a couple of bottles of water in there, and I'll put my, if I, I don't take many medications, I've only got one prescription, but I do keep it kind of in there to keep it cool so it doesn't get too hot. Uh, be curious to know what you guys do on a road trip. Do you take an ice chest with you, or how do you keep things cool? Or do you take, do you carry water with you when you're on a road trip, or do you just wait until you stop for gas and get water there? 
I know some of you have the drink holders on your bike. I don't have one. I've never particularly liked them. I think they always kind of get in the way for me. They're a little clumsy. But I know a lot of you have those uh, Butler drink holders or whatever. And uh, just be curious to know how you uh, keep water or whatever you're drinking uh, on your bike when you take a road trip. So put that stuff in the comments down below too. So I'm going to shut up. I'm about done with this motor vlog. I'm going to give you just a minute or so of some video of me riding on this flat slab. Maybe give you a little music. I want to thank you for joining me today on Cruise Man's Motor Vlog, and I will see you next time in the next video. Thanks again for joining me. If you enjoyed this video, please take a second to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to click the subscribe button and that little bell icon so YouTube will notify you of new videos when they become available.